And now we have this from TimCast.com. Supporters double down on Fetterman, accuse critics of ableism and bullying. Did you guys see the view clips when they were like, I thought the Hippocratic Oath was do no harm. Dr. Oz was bullying Fetterman. Bullying? He was having a debate. It's a political debate. He's supposed to be like, you're wrong, John. Did, at, at any point, did Dr. Oz say Fetterman has brain damage? No. What are they talking about? These people have lost the plot. They're willing to they're, they're willing to put in a guy who clearly his brain does not work. Welcome to modern politics. I suppose they hate you so much. They and, and, I, and I mean, this. I'm not trying to there's not an emotional dig or anything. It's, it's, it's factual. They hate Republicans. They hate Trump. They hate MAGA to the degree that they would vote for someone like John Fetterman. Did you watch the debate? Oh, Ian? I absolutely watched the debate. Okay. It was it was tough to watch. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, we're talking about somebody that's going to be one of 100 senators in the United States Senate, potentially, that said he's going to vote, you know, to break the filibuster, to end the legislative filibuster. And this is someone who cannot answer a question on his point of view for fracking and explain, were you lying then? Are you lying now? Or did your position evolve? We got no answer. I mean, we got a long pause, no answer. And for people to say, well, it's it's ableism. I mean, it's the same people that said, you know, if, when Mike Pence was debating Kamala Harris, you know, if he challenged her on something, well, then that was mansplaining, right? <laughs> it, it's the yeah, same right. thing if you're a conservative and you actually argue your points and they can somehow, you know, turn it into, well, we, we really can't argue what you, with what you said or that argument isn't really going to work. So we're going to, you know, say you're you're mansplaining, you're an ableist, um, you're, you're racist, you're um, uh, insurrectionist, whatever. I mean, just pick from the, the cookie jar of, of things to throw out there. What is ableism? It's discrimination against someone who is differently abled. I'm going to make an ableist t-shirt out of all these discussions about ableists. Hey, hell yeah. Give like me one Two plus two equals five, you ableist. So it's yeah. specifically I'm make an about like a disability shirt that only has like one or mm. no sleeves. <laughs> well, as I understand ableism, it's... I, I wasn't supposed to be a joke. I'm, I'm like, are, are there people who have like one arm? You know, do they wear shirts with an empty sleeve? Like, what, are there shirts that just don't have one? I mean, that'd be cool, right? It would be cool, actually. Yeah, able, not ableist. What's, I guess that... that yeah, that's, that's the thing. They're still ableist. able. Those people are still able. The whole disabled, like, yeah, things might be more challenging, but you're still able. Right. You know, you still got yeah. your abilities. But that's the PC idea. The, the, the Disabled just referred to someone who has a, a disability. They used to call them cripple. I mean, the word... They call them invalid. Lids. Yeah, the words have evolved <laughs> over the years. It's it, you, George Carlin nailed it. Yeah, you guys ever see that bit where he's like, post-traumatic stress disorder. We used to call it shell shock. But then the words keep getting more and more verbose. The phrases get longer and longer. He, he, I think he mentions invalid. That, 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 but then people are like, no, 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 you can't say that. That's a, that, that means invalid. We can't say that. So then they create new words like retarded, but then Moron. apparently those become yeah. offensive. And now... There's disabled, meaning you have a disability. It just meant like you didn't have your your hand was injured, your foot was injured, your eye, your ear, because on average a person has two eyes, two ears, two arms, two feet, two legs, etc. And and now that's offensive. So now it's you're not disabled. You're just differently abled. That's not true, man. Come on, this PC is so dumb. If you have if if the average person has two hands and then someone loses a hand, that's not differently abled. It's disabled. I got no. What's what's the deal? I guess if someone's born with three hands, they're more abled. Whatever. It just depends on how society's geared to function. Because if you have like twenty-seven hands, you're you're that's a form of a disability. Because it'd be hard to navigate. Well, the PC no progression way. language. You could you, climb trees and stuff. You nailed it, right? So, I remember twenty years ago. I'm. I'm Law school, reading the case, Oliver Wendell Holmes, he's going through the categories of mentally disabled people at the time, at the time, which is, you know, the early 1900s. And you had moron, idiot and imbecile. Right. And those were the three different categories. But then they became associated with, you know, they, you can't use those anymore. So then they, they came up with the term mentally retarded. Right. That eventually now you can't use that. So we move on to something else. And then whatever we're on no now, divergent. you're not. Yeah. You're Handy not going to be able to use that in 20 Handy years. That's capable. going to be over. You know, that's going to be over, too. So we'll find out a new term. I mean, well, it's, well, it's, well, so neurodivergent is what they use for mental ailments. Yeah. But the problem with that is divergent implies not normal. So you can't say that. Right. I'm 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 setting it early. Let's make neurodivergent extremely offensive because it implies there are people who are not normal. You're not divergent. You are the way God created you, right?
there's no word you can use for anything where you cannot find something offensive. right exactly. if you're one of those people that are perpetually offended you're going to get offended by every word that is either in the dictionary now or will be in the next you know my, millennia my, my favorite was uh wimixen and women do you, do you know about the <laughs> wimixen thing no so it's woman but oh, oh yeah yeah instead of en it's xn and they said the x means it's inclusive of all women and then people were like what, what do you mean inclusive all women? Women are women. And they were like, oh, but like Wimixen means, you know, like women of color and trans women. And then other leftists were like, are you saying that they aren't women and don't just fall <laughs> into the word woman? And then fighting broke out. One organiz organization said not using the X was offensive. The other said using it was offensive. Then somebody used an I, then somebody used a Y, and then here we are. Got no idea. This is, look, this is idle hands, the devil's playground. These people have nothing to do with their lives. They have no skills, no talents, no passions. So they make up fake garbage to fight for because they have nothing else. They have no great war. They have no great challenge. That's it. Many of them don't have kids. If they had kids, they'd be too busy to be doing, with the, yeah. doing these things. They need a boogeyman. If they don't have a boogeyman, they have no one to fight. Mm -hmm. And since, you know, the, the, there's a more demand for, for sexism, racism, than there actually is a supply of it. And I think that's very clear, especially with this latest uh, kind of uh, bastardization of our language, especially when you see just how new speak it is, how Orwellian it is exactly almost from 1984. But but back on the Fetterman oh. kind did, of topic did you, here. Did, did you see this real quick? No, I didn't. That Fetterman blamed the captioning device? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just going to say it because I, I, I've been saying this. The captioning device isn't going to work. The technology is not that advanced. It is hard for computers to transcribe voice to text well. So I knew this was going to happen. They're blaming it. Nexstar came back out and said, hey, 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 like we gave you the special technology you asked for. I'm going to put it this way. Fetterman's campaign said the, te the, the captions were filled with errors right there. Filled with errors. OK, you should not be in that job because there's no technology better than the live news captioning system. It's like having some of blurry vision be a fighter pilot. You wouldn't do well, it. What was very interesting is seeing Fetterman raise almost a million dollars from his performance last night. I actually watched Philip DeFranco, and, and he talked about this. He admitted hey, he didn't do that well, but he really wants him to win. That's what he said in his DeFranco broadcast. DeFranco said that? DeFranco said that what today in his broadcast. What is wrong with these people? And then DeFranco and Hassan both today were talking about how horrible Dr. Oz is because Dr. Oz didn't allow journalists to actually record the, the the screen that actually projected the words on there and they weren't able to fact check exactly what was on there and it's Dr. Oz that's responsible. Why is for, he responsible? That's what they're, they're pointing the finger at him because he denied uh, Fetterman to have journalists looking at the screen to fact check that it was accurate. I that's the argument that they're making. People today. forget how cutthroat things are in, yeah. in the world sometimes. Um, I don't know what about like playing softball for global political dominance is not a victory strategy. This look, I've been I, you guys ready? You got your shot glasses ready? This is why I've been talking about civil war for so long. A sane, rational human being is looking at the facts and saying, please, I want to be correct. You know, what do I if I make a mistake? Let me know. These people don't do that for Phil DeFranco to come out. For, I'm, I'm sorry, Phil, not just you, but for anyone to come out and be like, Fetterman actually didn't, it wasn't that bad, you know? I, I mean, there, there's like Slate wrote, actually, Fetterman did pretty well. The Philly Inquirer saying he did great. It's like, yo, any sane human watched that and went, wow. Yeah, yeah. forget that he had a stroke. Well, just well, watch DeFranco, it without the yeah. idea that he had a stroke. Well, DeFranco just, brought up that he didn't do that well, but he still, out of that performance, came out on his show and said, I really hope uh, Fetterman wins. I got that's, that's, that's my point. Yeah. They hate you so much facts be damned they would put a man who can't understand words can't speak and would blame his assisted listening device if if bro if you th th they're tweeting out as a senator all you got to do is say yay or nay so fetterman can do the job that is not the job yeah. of a senator you have to represent the state to the federal government they would they, they are gutting and burning the system to the ground so i do not see a scenario where we move forward as a country when you have these psychopaths saying you know what I don't want to be on the outside, and I assume this is the inside, so I'm not backing away from this. Yeah. We're coming to a point where it's going to be clear as day. With, with all the polling, with all the projections, let's assume they're right. Maybe they're not. Maybe, maybe Democrats really are going to win. I have no idea. If Republicans do win, if, and it's a landslide, 
And we see more of Democrats agreeing with Republicans and independents. These people still will not back down because they are in a circular firing squad, as Obama calls it. Phil DeFranco will never admit Fetterman should not be in office. And Dr. Oz is tepid at the, at, at the very least. He's, he's, he's middle of the road celebrity doctor. Is that the worst you could do? No, there's worse. But he would rather say Fetterman because he knows he's got leftist activists with their finger on the ba- on the flag button who are going to ban him on social media unless he says what they demand he say. I got to I got to bring it back to John Fetterman because, John, you got to. Re- oh, first of all, man, heal, heal up. Your family needs you, your wife, your kids. They need you, man. And, you know, do your best. And if that means that you need to, to heal for three years, uh-huh. do it. But like. It's important to keep the compassion for John alive. We want him to, I want him to be healthy, but I also, we're voting for a senator right now. So let's put all our cards on the table. Forget about the past. Look at that debate as is without knowing any prior. He has this past. She has this. He has this injury. Like Fetterman was stuttering and bumbling and and vacant for much of it. I don't want a senator that's stumbling, bumbling and vacant. And at one point the, the moderator did say Oz. Question, question, question. But it was actually meant for John Fetterman. And there's a long pause. And John was like, oh, oh. So that's on the the moderator. No, there's, they, there's one instance where she said Oz and then asked Fetterman the question. And John was really confused. Thanks for checking out this segment from the TimCast IRL podcast. But if you want to check out the full show live, tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And if you want more special access content, head over to TimCast.com and become a member. Your membership helps sustain this company, keep our journalists employed, makes this show happen, and you will get access to exclusive members-only segments of the TimCast IRL podcast. And there's a massive library to check out. So again, go to TimCast.com or tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And we'll see you all there.